It's a bird! No, it's a plane! No, no it's, it's a bird! Siren. You are watching Geo Nation Fishing. Oh my goodness! Hello again, family and friends, this is JU. In this episode, I'm going to share with you how I make my salmon spinning lures to be used from the banks. I've been using it for the last eight seasons, works really well, coming up to my ninth season. This year, I'm making a brand new one I'm going to call the Midnight Adventure. This year, I'm revamping my existing model, JU HANA. I'm going to make one called the JU HANA. 2022. For all the specifics, uh, you can see one of my previous videos. I'm going to put a link up here if you're watching YouTube. You can go back and I show you where I bought them. But in this episode, I'm just going to be quickly showing you how I make them. Alright, family, first you're going to need some gloves, alright? Because you're dealing with paint and all that. All right, family, this is how I'm going to do the JU HANA 2022 this year. This is a 6-inch pre-loop wire that I bought. So first thing I'm going to do is put this little bead inside here. Okay, next up, this clevis has to have this chartreuse blade. Make sure that it's going the right direction here. That means that the blade will have to be coming down this way. Then a big bead. And then this 1 16th, okay, this is 1 16th uh, bullet weight that I painted pink, hot pink. This is a 1 half inch uh, weight, sliding little weight that I paint pink. And then two pink bead. This is after all the Cheyuhana. Okay, and that's it. And then now I'm gonna use this tool. When I use this tool here, I'm gonna have to use some glove because I don't want all this stuff to get on me. If you watch in the past, you know that I'm going to try to make this loop perpendicular to that loop. And I'm going to eyeball it roughly about half an inch or so right there. I'm going to break it half an inch perpendicular to that loop. I'm going to break it like that and bend it all the way around so that it is going to be perpendicular to the tool. Like that. Perpendicular to the tool like that. And now I'm going to take it out. Okay, and I'm gonna create a loop. Okay, I'm gonna take it out, take this two out, stick it in like that. Okay, and I'm gonna make this loop perpendicular to this loop. So this is how you do it. You bend it, hold tight onto this hand, and bend this neck till this is about 45 degree angle, like so. See, when it's roughly 45 degree angle, you can stop to check your loop right there. See how it's bending already? See how it's making a loop, and that's all you need right there. Okay, once the loop is bent, all you're gonna need to do now is to bring this into a vise, wrap this around three times. You can do it however you wanna do it, but I like to use the vise, so follow me along to my lap. Okay. So family, I'm gonna stick this into my vise right there. All right, I'm gonna tighten it. Okay, see how it's a little bit crooked? I'm going to bend it so that now it's straight. Okay, straight. And now it's going to be perpendicular to that loop right there. Alright? And all I'm going to do is bend this around three times. So I'm going to get that, this out of the way. Bend this around three times. Watch. Grab onto this. See, one time.
make it as tight as you can. Two times, and then three times. And that's it, and then cut that out. I'm gonna release this now, release this vise. Let's go back to the table. So now, family, I'm gonna cut this extra piece as close as I can. Do that, okay? As close as I can to there. Put this wire cut it. Hold on to this answer, don't fly all over the place. That's it. Okay, and then um, I like to inspect that part right there. If it sticks out, I'm gonna use this tool right here to bend it in. Pretty much it tight, okay? Stop right there, babe. So now I'm gonna use this two split ring right here, family, and I'm gonna connect it together with this split ring plier. Connect it together. Okay, and then I'm gonna put connect this here into this piece. This will allow you to swap out from your treble hook to a single hook. So check the regulation over here in California, Sacramento River. The part I'm fishing at, you allow treble hook, so I'm gonna use that. But wherever you're fishing, make sure you check the regulation. This will enable you to put in the hook that you want. So I'm kind of interchangeably, sometimes take my glove off, put my glove on. If I need a grip better and it's dangerous, I'm put my glove back on, see? Just spit ring right into there. Keep on going. And there it is, family. J. Hanna, 2022. So family, that's how I do my salmon spinning lure. I haven't been out there fishing from the banks yet. It's still a little bit early. I've got a friend of mine fishing two weeks straight trolling over there in the Water Grove area. He hasn't caught a salmon. <laughs> they are definitely in the river system, but not too many yet. I'm gonna start going out there maybe at the end of uh, August when my kids are back in school. As always, family, there are a lot of good fishing videos out there. Thank you so very much for coming to check out my channel. Till the next time, peace out, family. Woo! Bam!